You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. Four regional championship teams enter. Only one will advance. This is Inside Game of the Week at the 2019 Eisenhower section. Five seconds. Okay, roll H. Do it. This is our time to stand up and fight. Shake off this rust. At this stage of the tournament, it gets pretty serious. Everybody with the regional championship under the belt and each team quite capable of heading to Peoria. Giving it all, even if we fall, we'll get back up. From Eisenhower High School in Blue Island, Illinois, CN100 presents Inside Game of the Week from the 2019 Eisenhower section. And welcome everybody to Blue Island. We're at Eisenhower High School, our home away from home for the next four nights as we bring you every game in the Eisenhower sectional in the boys class 4A basketball tournament. Tonight, it's the number four seed, Holman Flossmore, against the number one seed, Bloom Township. Starting out, we know this is a rivalry game. We know emotions are gonna be high. It's gonna be a tough physical game. We wanna initiate the toughness. We wanna be the tougher team. We wanna bring it to them. We wanna jump on them from the beginning. These two teams have met twice so far this season. Both games won by Bloom, but both of them were tight. It's playoff time. Everybody is zero and zero. This is the time of year where upsets can happen. I think X's and O's were pretty clear on. Played these guys twice already, so I don't think there's any secrets. Number one, there's no possession within this game that isn't gonna matter when we get to the end, okay? It's 32 minutes to get to Friday. Keys to the game, rebounding, box out, step to your man, you gotta seal them, you gotta keep them off the boards. Make them a jump shooting team. It's a team responsibility to play hard the whole time. Stick to our game plan, we will be fine. You just gotta win one possession at a time, you gotta win one minute at a time, okay? and you gotta do it over and over and over again until there's no time left. Okay, if you do that, we'll come back to this locker room very happy. The Bloom Trojans, they are a team that might be actually a year early. A team that is full of juniors, but yet here they are, the number one seed in the section. They're going to see an HF team that's had a rather interesting season. When everybody is on this floor for HF, they are a really good team. I wish I could wish you better luck, but I can't. Hey, I know, I know. Not tonight. We've only got 32 teams left alive in Class 4A, and it's only the cream of the crop. And we have the top four seeds. A lot of guys in the other locker room that have next year. A lot of guys in this locker room don't. For them, there's always next year. You said that last year. There should be a difference in how you approach this game compared to them. If you don't win tonight, that's it. Play like it's your last game, because it very well could be. We're gonna go out there and we're gonna play with everything you have the whole time. Do everything it takes to play another day. Give it everything you have and live with the result. Bloom will have the ball first to get us started in this 4A section semifinal, and it is Mitchell, and that starts the score. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Oscar Parrish, no look pass. Chad Reedy, who gets the start tonight, the 6'7 sophomore, opens the scoring for HF. Fasten up the seat belts because we're going up and down the court tonight. A long, rain making three by Donovan Newby puts Bloom back out on top. It's a three-pointer on the way, bottom of the drain for Oscar Parrish. Hey, meet him! Meet him! Go over the screen. Maddox fires a long three and he hits. Hand off, bucks out, bucks out! Scott for three and it's in. Biggest lead of the game so far for either team now at three points for HF. Three-pointer, newbie wide open and hits. One minute left. Gotta control the last, gotta control the last minute. And we're trying to go until we're done. They don't get any more shots. Inside of the final minute, Maddox three-pointer. Can he elevate off the jump? The Bloom leading by five. Newby will drive, puts it off, and out of the foul. And one coming. Down it. HF in the blink of an eye, down eight after a 10-2 run by Bloom. Let's run. Keep attacking the basket. Keep attacking the basket. Thank you, thank you. Ogum goes up. Oh, oh, easy. Ogum has four straight points to open up. He's getting the ball in the paint. Big turn on defense here for HF. They've got the lead down to six. Ball lost. Pick up, pick up. Long pass down the floor. Trace Williams put it right on the money. One more pass. Six points for Ogum in this quarter. Look up, look up, Keith. Parrish 
felt the triple team, gave it to Ogum. Three-pointer by Scott is good. HF trying to take the lead back, and what a play. And what a finish by Isaac Stanback. Back and forth we go. This game has been played at such a high level for the word go by both teams. Here's Doobie in the corner. Three-pointer on the way, and that went down the bottom of the drain by Sincere Moses. What an opening half of basketball. Bloom will go to the locker room, leading by one at halftime of a high-level section semifinal matchup. What part of the game plan did, did we execute? What didn't we execute? Second quarter, they got chance after chance after chance. Defense and rebound is going to be the key to this game. You want to win this game, you're going to have to you're going to have to handle the pressure in the second half. You got 16 minutes here to win. Okay, it's 16 minutes to beat these guys to get to Friday. As well as we played first quarter, as they played as well second quarter. So now we're going in. It's a tie game right now. We have to establish our defense again in third quarter. Come on, man. Keep handling the pressure. When you get into the offensive sets, make sure you get the entry in the swing. Okay? They're the one seed. You're the four seed. Okay? You're not supposed to win this game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, three, one, two, three. Yeah. HF trailing by a point right now. Their biggest lead in the opening half was three points. HF took control to start the second half. Bloom had an eight-point lead at one point, Kenny, in that opening half. Mark Condotti is doing a masterful job. Oh. You talk about a masterful job, Standback starting to come alive. Wow. Biggest lead of the game for HF. And you got to take the charge. You can't get caught up. You just got to take the contact, okay? We haven't taken one yet. Hey, get the ball out and go right back at them. Get the ball out and go right back at them. Let's, we we want to play fast. But Bloom bounced back. Newby for three, got it. Huge three. 10 seconds, Maddox with the basketball for Bloom. Looking for the pass, but instead Maddox will right. keep it himself. We are at the end of three quarters of play, and for the first Yo. time in this game, HF leads at the end of a quarter. Good job, man. Stop giving him extra possessions. You've all given him an extra one. No more. If you guard Isaac or RJ, don't let them get close to the basket. You can't just sit out here and try and pass the ball and play it. They give you pressure, go. Hey, this got to be our quarter now. that puts it away. You gotta play better D than that. Maddox, he makes his third three-pointer of the night. What a ball player. Boy, every free throw, Jim, so important now. Yes! Followed by Maddox, and he'll put it in. Boy, what a ball game he's had. He just does not quit. Maddox, in the lane. He had it stripped away by Stanback, stayed with it. Boy, he is always around the basketball. A game high 24 points. They were tied at 60 apiece. 10 seconds left. Here's the screen. Williams with eight. Williams will probe into the lane. Hangs in the air. Missed it. Rebound by Stanback. He's got to get it up. It counts if it goes. Timeout called by HF. You're going to pin and we're going to throw it over to you. All right? You cannot let it go out of bounds because then they get the ball right back there. Switch screens. Don't let your man catch the ball. And don't push. Look up, Look up. Scott down the floor and it's picked off. Blue has time. And no whistle at midcourt. We are going to overtime. Wow. You got four minutes now to work through. It comes down to the basic stuff now. The Vikings made the most of their first possession. Ogum explodes down the baseline, HF up by two. But in overtime, points would be hard to come by. Winner moves on, loser done for the year, check in the uniforms tomorrow. Newbie for the tie, short. And HF would cling to their lead until the final seconds. Timeout, Bloom, 2.6 left. Nothing long, everybody else match up. You go to baseball, they got lead, I say for three. Burgess looking, and it's picked off by Scott, and that'll do it. And the game now is over. And number four seeded HF has knocked out the number one seed, the Bloom Township Trojans. Have a seat, guys. Fellas, it's tough. Today is one of the toughest days that we've had this whole season. My seniors, I thank you for playing so hard for us. It didn't happen the way we want it to happen, but y'all gave y'all all. We fought to the end. 
you guys have done a lot for Bloom basketball just in playing hard, playing exciting, and bringing fans back, getting interest back for Bloom. You guys, you know, you fought through a lot of adversity we just said in the corner over there, and, and that is a telltale sign of two things. One, a team, and one, a team that's grown up. You wouldn't have won that game a month and a half ago, okay? So remember what it takes to win a sectional semi and understand what it's going to take to win a sectional final. That's what it's about. I mean, to put stuff in perspective, I'm hurt and I'm disappointed and I'm frustrated, but I, it's a game. Somebody's going to win and somebody's going to lose. When we won, we won as a team. When we lose, we lose as a team. But I appreciate all the hard work, all the efforts, everything. We just didn't do enough to pull this thing off. It's taken us a lot of time to get to this point, but it, it takes work to, to accomplish this. All right, that is no easy task. Proud of you, does a hell of a game. It's one of the biggest games of my career. Hopefully it's one of the biggest games of your career and there's still more out there. One, two, three. Yeah. One team. One mission. One mission. One goal. One goal. One love. One love. Hey, BT on me. One, two, three. BT. Four, five, six, seven. CN 100's coverage of the Eisenhower sectional continues. Tonight, it's the second semifinal matchup as the number two seed, Marion Catholic Spartans, battle the number three seeded, Simeon Wolverines. All right, listen, what do we say about the opponent? There's not much to say. You know who they are. You play big games. You know what's in front of you. We one step closer to our goal, fellas. But remember, everything gotta be one game at a time. You notice everybody's about to play from here on out is pretty good. You're not playing bad teams. So that means you gotta go out and execute and do the stuff that you're supposed to do on both ends of the court. This is the most dangerous team in the state of Illinois when it comes to the playoffs. They are still lethal. They're finally healthy. They have their leader and Robert Smith back on the sidelines. They want to make sure that people remember the name Simeon, a true threat when it comes to capturing that 4A state crown. How about these Spartans of Marion Catholic? They finished third in class 3A last year, and I think they want to prove to a lot of people that they can return downstate here in 4A. They have the necessary pieces and the talent to navigate through one of the toughest sectionals in the state, and that's right here at Eisenhower High School. Good luck, Rob. We've talked about regret, right? We don't want to leave that floor with regret. It's about getting the right shot at the right time. But when we go on that defensive end, the man I'm guarding isn't scoring. And you make it personal. We cannot go out here and get out hustle. They're not gonna settle for a lot of jump shots. They're gonna try to get downhill and get to the rim. So you gotta make sure you understand that as well. You're playing against the best. And that's the way we set things up, so that you're challenged to play the best. And when we come in here tonight, win or lose, okay? We're proud of ourselves, we're proud of our effort, and we're not leaving with any regrets. You understand? This is not the time of the year to come in and make mistakes, because you, you, we don't have time for that. When you get in there, you got to be on point, ready to go. I'll try to be back here playing Friday night. Opening tip controlled by the Wolverines, and we're off and running here in Blue Island. It's a great pass and a great block by Mr. White. Here come the Spartans. Jones elevates off the front of the room. The putback though is good by Aaron Euless. Three ball, it was banked in. Marion starting out the game, one of five shooting from the field. Euless hangs off the glass and hits. That's great defense from Joe Green there. Great steal and the finish by Green. His first two points of the game. Driving at the other end and connecting is Keyhawn Clements. And there's Keyhawn Clements again. He's covering a lot of ground with that, carrying that ball. When the ball is opposite of y'all, you gotta be in the paint to rebound and block out. There's Clements again taking it to the hoop. This is a clinic that Kiwan Clemens is putting on in this first quarter. Final seconds winding down. Simeon by four. Bynum oh. hits the triple. His second from downtown. At the end of one, the Simeon Wolverines lead by seven. So what's the difference right now? They're hitting tough shots, and you're not hitting shots, right? Hey, you got to stop the ball. Everybody else got to get back. You got to commit to scoring. You can't just go in there and float it up. You got to score. 
Simeon going back to the end of the first quarter now on a 9-0 run. Shot by Aaron Euless, and he gets it to fall. Seven now for Aaron. He's the leading scorer for the Spartans. He'll throw it to AJ so he can throw it to Sincere. Green, put it oh my, was it swatted away by Casey. Quickly ahead, it's Simeon. with the flush. This is the toughness of Simeon. But to end the first half, the Spartans showed their toughness on the defensive end. That's what the Spartans need more of, number one in white. Oh, there's another steal. Elijah Jones with the Euro to the left hand and lays it in. And cut an 11 point deficit down to four. And we have come to the half. This is what you want to see from two teams that have a great shot at winning a 4A state crown. Hey, look on the bright side. We had a lousy shooting half, and we're only down four. I mean, seriously. Everything they've been getting has been inside of the paint and fast breaks. Stop cheating out on the man out there. They ain't made a shot. Now, once they make a shot, then we'll make the adjustment. You did a great job defensively the second quarter. You figured out some stuff, you fought, you understand? And then we just gotta hit shots. We cannot get lackadaisical on the zone, man. They kind of overplaying everything too. Listen, we haven't played it like we can play. And we're down four. I feel good about it. I feel really good, all right? Because I know our best basketball is to come. We'll shoot that game winner, and we'll come to live another day, okay? All right, let's go. There is a triple to start the second half by Bynum. What a move by Chris White. That's the Chris White that Mike Taylor needs to see. Nice bounce pass to Casey. His turnaround is good. Coach Taylor would also like to see his team get some stops. The senior point guard for Simeon came to play. Kiwan Clemens again. You may want to stop this guy. Knock one down. Marion Catholic Cameron now 0 for 9 from behind the arc tonight. If we were charting 50-50 balls, Marion Catholic, it seems like they're getting each and every one, and it leads to their first three of the game. The pace in the second half, just as quick as the first. Look at Joe Green. Green. Back to back triples. We got a ball game now, partner. There's another jumper for the Spartans. Marion Catholic has shot their way back into this game. Let's go, y'all. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Last shit. Let's go. Eight minutes. Let's stay bold. We're going to get a step right on. Here come the Spartans. Here's Euless penetrating. And he hits. The fourth quarter would remain tight. Stepping back for the three is Bynum. Euless with the rebound. Yeah, that's a very tough shot for Bynum because it leads to this. Great pass ahead to Joe Green who lays it in. The Spartans cut the lead to one. But Clements answered. Trailing by one here. Nice drive by Clements. A dozen for Juan. And a timeout taken here by the Wolverines. Oh, yeah. Come on, we 10, hey, we 10 points better than this team if we come and play. Hey, it's about stops and scores. A three ball by Chris White. That score gave the Spartans the lead, but it didn't last long. Three point wow. field goal by Reed. Say you love March Madness, huh? White pulls up and hits. That score gave the Spartans the lead. But the teams would trade the lead down the stretch. Clements, he hits the triple. The Spartans were down two with 20 seconds left. And there's a turnover. Green to the open floor. Time to retire. Wow, the Spartans getting their offense from their defense. Robert Smith is not going to call a timeout. Could we possibly go to overtime for the second straight night? The drive, and it's by Reeves. Timeout taken by Mike Taylor. You'll have one time for one dribble. Come hard here, OK? Who's my last guy? Yemi, right here. Screen for Aaron, OK? White to Green. Green for the win. 
Simeon Wolverines have advanced. They hold off the Marion Catholic Spartans. Good job. Good job. Uh, good job. Good luck to you. Thank you. It was indeed a thriller as the Simeon Wolverines knocked off Marion Catholic by two. All right, get your heads up. We're disappointed to lose, but we're not disappointed in you guys. All of us are going to kick ourselves. Every one of us is going to kick ourselves at lost opportunities. That's life. You're going to meet many of those challenges in your lifetime. And hopefully, hopefully you win more than you lose. But winning or losing, you do it with class and dignity, and you did that. And I'm very proud of you. But we had to make the plays. We actually made them. But hey, I'm, we won. We play again on Friday. That's it. We race it out the head and be ready to go for Friday. It's going to be a war. Come on. Let's bring it up one last time. Come on. Spartans on three. One, two, three, Spartans. Welcome you to Blue Island for tonight's CN100 Game of the Week. It is a boys 4A section championship game from Eisenhower High School. Tonight's game features the Simeon Wolverines taking on the Homewood Flossmore Vikings. A couple things. X's and OI, we've gone over what we need to. Um, you don't get to the sectional final. You don't get to this point unless you play hard, and that, that's always number one. So let's make sure we, we go out there and play harder than we played all year. All right? All right. Let's remember, fellas, there is no tomorrow if you lose, all right? There's no tomorrow. So you got to make sure you go out here and give it everything you got, all right? We have to be strong with the basketball. We got to make sure we block out. We got to make sure we rebound the basketball and be tough. Everything that we've done this year since we finished last year in that locker room over at Thornton has been to get to this point. Everything we've done has been to get to this point. It doesn't happen every year. For them, maybe it does, but for us, don't come around every single year. So you got to take advantage now. Now is the time. In the case of HF, they are playing, at least they're coming off of what was their best game of the season. They are on a road, and they will need to play a perfect basketball game to beat Simeon. And the question was, what's wrong with the Wolverines? The answer is nothing, because here they are again in another section final with a chance to go to the final eight. Well, when's the last time you saw a team with 14 losses ranked number three? And Rob Smith missed most of those losses with a heart ailment. They've only lost once since Coach Rob has been back, and they played well the last couple of games. We cannot play as bad as we played last game. I don't think that'll ever happen that you would play that bad two games in a row. That just don't happen for you. Take your time, be patient get a good shot on every possession, and then we have to go on the other end and get stops. You got one game to take a ride to Northwestern, you got two games to take a ride down to Peoria. Go out there and play like it could be your last game. That doesn't mean go out there and play scared, go out there and play tentative. It means go out there and play as hard as you possibly can. It is a very experienced HF team coming off their best game of the season. And now they will see if they can knock off one of the true blue blood programs in Illinois high school basketball, the Simeon Wolverines. HF is not a prolific three-point shooting team, but they can hit the threes. And there is Trice to open it up with a three. It is 2-3 zone against 2-3 zone, but they will come out and trap the basketball. Three-pointer on the way, and Simeon finally gets a field goal. Antonio Reeves knocks down the three. Drain passed it off, and that one down the bottom of the drain by Antonio Reeves, the second three of the game. You got to go screen him. He's got No, you're fine. It's just, the only difference is that this guard's going to come and screen, and this guy's going to get the throw over. So we have had a chess match in the section final. Stolen away, up the floor. Here comes Stan back, bounce pass. pass, and finishing is Oscar Parrish. So the story of the first quarter, 2-3, as in 2-3 defenses. Let's go back to the two now, okay? Make sure you're touching the middle, RJ, okay? Make sure he's not just standing here, he catches, he turns, he's got ground, or he catches, starting got a shot. Just arm's length. If nobody behind him, J-Rock throw it over the top, he's going to have a basket by himself. Don't force it. Though. Don't force it, though. Just throw it up to the half. He's not there. Then Tone's going to be here. And Simeon back into the 2-3 zone. HF with a one-point lead right now. Williams, and that is nothing but net. The way the Vikings are playing now, I think they're going to play right into Simeon's hands. 
because they're trying to make this an up-tempo game. Or a shooting contest with Mr. Poole. Three-pointer again for the tie, and we are knotted up at 17. When you go to the basket and you don't run any offense, they've scored. Every time you go down there and run offense, they don't get an extra possession, okay? That's one possession you take away from them down here. One last time, Reeves gets to shoot a three. So if it ain't there, if you got four blue jerseys back here, just stop. Three-pointer on the way. Bynum couldn't hit. Tapped out. Call with another big rebound. Puts it in. He puts Simeon in front for the first time. Scott will feed the low post. Ogun gives it back. Scott a three-pointer, and that's good. We are tied at the end of an evenly played half of championship basketball. All right, good half. I honestly believe everything that they've gotten in this half, we gave to them. So you tied them for 16. Now all you got to do is beat them for 16 minutes more, one minute at a time. 20 points and a half, that's not us. We can get that in a quarter. But we got to be mentally into the game. Got to be mentally in the game. So the key is this area right here. Once you get the ball here, you can go to work. This area is what's going to hurt them. And again, I know easier said than done, because they're long and they're big, but it's there. And we got to penetrate the gaps, because that means the defense has to shift. If it's just a catch on the wing and pull up, the defense ain't doing nothing. All you got to do is execute it now. There's no secret at this point in the season, man. You can do it. Everything that you've done has got us to this point. You don't even have to win 32 minutes anymore. You just got to win 16. Find it, we're taking it right up to Northwest. Let's go. Come on. Together on three, one, two, three. Together. Yeah. Come on, y'all, let's go. Come on, you got 16 minutes of basketball left for the season. Either you're going to be playing on next Tuesday, or that could be it. Simeon has won their last two games at the buzzer. Three-pointer, Reeves, and that one was halfway down, came out, tipped around, here comes Scott. Three on two for HF, Scott down the lane, he missed the dunk. Three-pointer the other way, and that one is nailed by him, that's Bynum. Three-pointer, Bynum knocks it down. Well, they're not bashing about taking threes. They will take the three-point shot. Three-pointer, and that one is good. Things were starting to go Simeon's way. Stand back, going to the rim, stay with it, travel. Ten turnovers now on HF. And the Wolverines' lead was growing. Three-pointer, David Trice, that one's no good. Here come the Wolverines. Up the floor, Casey has a chance to run. He shows the basketball and lays it in. 15-2 is the run for Simeon. Come on, y'all, finish up. Got a lot of basketball no up. Hey, no hey, listen, we ain't in no hurry either. But we're still playing to win the game. We're not in a hurry, but we're still playing to win the game. If they're going to stay in the zone, let's just make sure we're making our flashes and finishes. They're going to come and get you in the zone. Flash, finish, get the ball in the middle, and go to attack. Just got to make some shots. The Wolverines were making the shots. Give it to the hot guy, and Bynum has knocked down four three-pointers tonight. The Wolverines right now are just dissecting HF. Kiwan Clements, he'll take his time and just lay it in. The Vikings were down, but Coach Gondotti's team never quit. And since Brewer is coming the game for HF, they force a couple of turnovers, and Brewer gets the bucket. In the end, the Wolverines were too much for the Vikings. They had a great run at HF. They, their, their resume of losses is quality, and the clock is going to run down. Final score, Simeon 58, HF 43. Nice game. Keep the game, Rob. Good job, Coach. Simeon advances. They will play Curie on Tuesday night in the Super Sectionals at Northwestern. For the fifth straight year in 12 of the last 15 seasons, the Wolverines were in the Super Sectional. Back to the same spot, fellas. Back at the same spot. Got to finish up now, y'all. This is the difference between some teams. This is a team. It's not just about one or two people. Carry that over to the next game, then we'll be going that state. All right? It's a lot different now. It's for all the marbles. It's for everything now. Enjoy this moment. A lot of people don't get this far. Remember, about two months ago, nobody even thought you'd be playing this game. They thought y'all was dead. But we just kept telling people, just wait. It's coming. And now we here. Ain't no turning back. We right here where we need to be. One game from going downstate. One game. We got one team in our way. But like I say, enjoy the moment. All right, great job. 
This has been Inside Game of the Week from the 2019 Eisenhower Sectional.